we've been making cakes for a number of years now, uh, making cakes for all different occasions really. Um, and we do kids' parties and we also do a bit of a naughty one for the uh, older generations. <laughs> We had been struggling for quite some time. You know, the recession really hit us quite hard. I had to let go of all the staff. And, you know, I, I, I needed to you know, buck the trend and think of some new ideas to get us going again. So I looked into giving the business a bit of a, a kick start, you know. Uh, it was actually somewhat randomly I came across the concoction of sponge and heroin which actually made quite a Moorish treat. Um, I just went out and handed them out on the street, and it, it went from there, really. I mean, people were coming back for more, so I, I had to hire the staff back in. What can I get for five pounds? To keep up with the rush. And I thought, well, if this has worked, then why not try some other you know, specialities? Uh, so we added some to the menu, um, and they, they've really taken, everyone really likes them. Um, the one parents seem to like is the chocolate cake with uh, marijuana sprinkles for parties. It seems to me that the kids are easier to handle. Um, I wouldn't know about that. Hi, are you okay? Can I have the trifle with the MCAT jelly, please? Of course. What about Jennifer? She's a vegetarian. Jelly then, please. Uh, anything else? Um, can I have the Thomas the Tank Engine Victoria, please? Dad, can I have the cocaine in it? No, Jacob, you can't. Oh, go on, it's his birthday. Please, Dad. <sighs> I suppose you can have a few grams. Go on. Wonderful. 